Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu Live Everything in Wonder. In today's episode, we will give you some news and updates. As you may know, our family is growing. There will be soon an addition. Our little baby girl is coming, so we will become three. But now, let's start this video. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything in Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. After almost 20 days, uh locked uh, in our house uh, trying to recover we finally tested a negative uh, for covid 19. i still have some symptoms especially some cough the doctor said it could be long covid we don't know but it could be really long till all the symptoms just disappear but we feel better mama bruna yes. is negative as well we are okay guys thank you for your messages and this is the moment we found out that we were negative. So I got tested at home and this swab is negative. So now we'll go and we'll take the official one. We are here at the pharmacy to get the test, the swab. And this is the line just to... It's also on the other side. Yeah, you can see. The parking lot. Mm -hmm. see. Sarah being pregnant, uh, they let her, her uh, go first. But uh, yeah, now we need to wait 15 minutes uh, for the result. Uh, and uh, if the result is negative, uh, we can finally book uh, our appointments at the hospital because uh, since she was positive uh, for two weeks, uh, we had to cancel the checkups uh, at the hospital because uh, she's not allowed to go anywhere. She needs to stay home uh, inside uh, until she's uh, negative. Yeah, I was really lucky that the owner of the pharmacy, she just had a baby one year ago. She knows me and she knows that I'm pregnant and I, I, I told her, you know, just I will wait in the car and then let me know. So I don't need to wait in the line. And she said, no, 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 we will go first. So she said that pregnant women and kids, children, they have like... Priority. The priority. And now 15 minutes and we will know, guys. Fingers crossed. This morning it was negative at home, but everything can change, you know, depends on the swab. We will let you know as soon as we get the result. Negative! <laughs> I'm super happy. Don't cry, Tatiana. No, no, I'm just getting emotional because it was so long. <sighs> we can do everything now. Now you, your so, turn tomorrow. Tomorrow is my turn. But yeah. the important thing is that uh, you will be able to go to the hospital, yeah. see baby girl, how she's doing, uh, and uh, book uh, yeah. everything you need to do. I was book. waiting on the names because if you're positive, they will call you and they will... Like put you on your you, side yes and tell you privately that you are positive so i was waiting oh, please don't tell sb please don't tell sb <laughs> and it was negative so super happy guys good 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 morning guys today is lucas turn to do the the swab so he's waiting in line. There it is. Waiting. Almost one hour, guys. And we are still waiting. Outside is freezing and the line is getting longer and longer and longer and longer. Okay, guys my nails are purple i'm freeze it was uh, three below zero uh, celsius so super super freezing it took me one hour to get this uh, test done but uh, at least i'm negative now tonight i i will get my p 
papers back uh, where I can finally go to the hospital with Sara and uh, be a little bit more free to just go and buy some groceries uh, so that the Claudio doesn't need to come from Torino to Lucky Land uh, to bring us food or medicines uh, or whatever we need. The Bye. downside of uh, having to stay in the line for hours uh, with temp freezing temperatures is that you can really get sick. So, you know, you're there not to get sick and you get sick. <laughs> okay, now back to Akiland. Yeah. And then tomorrow, finally the ultrasound. We are leaving Lucky Land. It's refreshing. Like we feel free to go and we are going to, to see our baby girl and to check everything. I don't know if this will be our last ultrasound, but it's always exciting. It's one of the appointments that I love the most because we can see the baby. Are you excited? Super. Long time no see, baby girl. Yeah. It's about time. Okay, let's go to Torino. And, and then we will pick you up, guys, after the checkup with the doctor and the ultrasound. You can see the head here, also here, with uh, her uh, arm, the nose, uh, the mouth. This is the profile. Yes. Baby girl, only the head. Everything was okay, was fine. They said that she has big uh, head <laughs> and long legs. She's still breech. The placenta is a little bit higher, but it's still low line placenta. I think that the ultrasounds are so beautiful to attend together and to see the baby girl evolving. And they told you how big she is, everything is fine, everything. Is, is okay for you know the week that you are pregnant together we are trying some techniques to flip the baby uh, the, in the right turn position the yeah. baby around uh, so the head is not above uh, but the head they should go down exactly so we will show you later on the two techniques we are using right now one is the spinning babies techniques i'm exercising every day and then the second one is the moxa. We celebrated Sarah's birthday. These are the antipasti, the starters. We have tortillas with guacamole, artichokes, mozzarella, some roses from the garden, titulino, wine, prosciutto, grissini. And then we have lentil soup, some peas. Today is February the 6th and we are celebrating Sara's birthday. Twenty-five years old. Twenty-five, yes. 25. Let's say like this, no? Yeah. Yeah. Dario, you yes. confirm? I'm 42. Yeah. And uh, right. soon... Baby growing. In the belly. And uh, Daddy Claudio, you are 45? 42. 42 years old. <laughs> really young. Yes. How do you Dad? say in English, Daddy Claudio? Codfish. Codfish. Codfish with uh, onions and milk. It's called uh, Merluzzo alla Vicentina. Sara with her, her mommy, Mama Laura. Laura, Mama Bruna, Giulio. Mama Bruna. Luca, Mama Bruna, it's, it's okay. How's your COVID situation? <laughs> it's yeah. fine. I'm out. Yeah. Finally out of it. Alles Gute, liebe Sarah. Alles
came here and she's staying here. Ciao. Ciao, mamma. She will help me to prepare the hospital bag. 99% uh, we need to have a C-section. I have a big long list of things to prepare for the hospital bags for me and for the baby and even I need to to take with me everything from toilet paper to yeah. Towels, cutlery, the money if I want to eat something or drink something. So now in COVID times, it's really everything is different. The hospitals, as you can see, there is an ironing board here. And I have to say, I I use it at ironing board when I was working in Milan and in Switzerland, but now, like. It's been six years that we we didn't use it because we don't we don't need it yeah. basically. I prefer to use a steamer that is way faster. My mom she is used to use it every day, so we need to divide every change for the baby in in small bags like this for the hospital. So I will need for the C-section you need to stay longer in the hospital, so five to six changes outfit for the baby and then five to six outfits for me to stay in the hospital. I'm getting pretty excited and in a few weeks I will have the pre-hospitalization at the hospital where I need to stay one day and do all the checkups, meet the doctors, getting ready for the surgery and do the last check to see if the baby just turned in the right position or if she is comfortable like this and she will stay like this. And so in two weeks we will know everything more in details. And also the belly is growing. Finally, it's eight months and a half. When you will see this video probably will be almost nine months. So um, they told me that the C-section would be before that 40 weeks. So it could be 38, 39, we don't know guys, but we will let you know. Of course, I'm a little bit scared. I was scared, now I'm more prepared. I'm prepared for the natural birth, I'm prepared for the C-section. The only thing that really I will love that everything goes okay. As you can hear, even when I'm talking, I'm a little bit short of breath because the baby, I have the head here, on my lungs, on my stomach, so it's difficult to, to talk, but I'm trying to do everything possible. Okay, we need to work and to get this hospital bag ready for the hospital. Okay. I'm dividing the sizes, I don't know how big she will be, so... And I have, it seems like a lot, but you have to bring like full six completely outfits with the body and everything, the hat. And I would like to say thank you guys for the donations for the baby, for the one that bought a gift from our Amazon wish list. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. We are receiving every week something and thank you. First outfit for newborn with a little blanket and the hat, the body and the overall. Okay, and then I close it so it's everything nice and clean and ready. And we need to write our name here, so we will write our last name because we don't know the name of the baby yet. We need to wait and see her. And guys, it's getting real. <laughs> I was waiting so long, yeah, because sometimes other pregnant women told me, but you have everything ready, I say, no, it's 
too early, you know? And everybody told me it's too late now because 34, 35 weeks, baby can already be here. So it's a big step today to prepare the hospital bag. It's like getting ready and feeling that it's getting real. Plus, we need to organize everything for the toiletries, so um, soap, the blanket, everything that you need. And we are done! Grazie, Nona Laura! Kangaroos from Australia! <laughs> and today, Mamma Laura, to be Nonna Laura, made us a homemade uh, lasagna. Look at that. Wow. Look at Lop's lasagna. I'm having a very delicious salad with some fish, artichokes, and they will have homemade lasagna. My mom also made the ragu. soffritto con carota, sedano, cipolla, besciamella, parmigiano e pasta. Here you can see the layers. Buon appetito Laura! Buon appetito Luca! Buon appetito! Giorgio Luca? Brucia! È super hot! Mm. Molto buona! Ah! Second plate! This! So every morning we need to measure the sugar in the blood of Sarah. So we need to make a little hole in Sarah's finger so we can get some blood and we measure with this little tool machine. Yeah, we have to do it four times every day. One day yes, one day no, one day yes, one day no. So it's about four times every week. The first time in the morning without eating and drinking anything, then one hour after breakfast, then one hour after lunch, and then one hour after dinner. We had the checkup pretty late in my pregnancy, and it's not so bad. The diabetes they told me that you know uh, it's strictly connected to my pregnancy, but still we have to to have it under control. If you know me, you know that I'm really scared of blood and needles. So even if this is really a small needle, mentally in the beginning was a little bit tough, but now I'm getting used to it <laughs> since I have to do it pretty often. Uh, I'm okay with it and Luca is a great nurse. <laughs> I'm trying to use all my fingers so let's start on this one. Let's stop. I'm feeling great. I have to say that these last weeks of pregnancy are okay. Like I feel really tired and I want to sleep <laughs> all day long. But I try to stay active. I'm just, you know, a little bit confused because sometimes with all these checkups and seeing different doctors, one doctor told me you gain too much weight, so 8-9 kilos is, should be at the end of the pregnancy, not a week 34-35. The other one told me you weigh too little, you need to eat more, then the other one no, because of diabetes you need to follow a strict diet. <laughs> 
and so everybody is telling me something different so it's a little bit confusing and I think that you need to follow and to listen to your body because I'm the one that is carrying the baby I'm the one that is feeling my body, my baby we have seen now, Luca, in the last few days that it's not really connected to what I eat it's all about hormones yeah I guess so it's but, not about the food no, but I would like to be really good I would like to follow what the doctor said and then you cannot speak with any anybody because the hospitals are still closed everything is via email or online you don't have this human connection so this is what I missed more in, in this pregnancy but I have look we are almost nine months now and if I have to do the c-section this would be at 39 weeks so almost at full term that is 40 weeks but we will see, in a few days we will have the last ultrasound checkup and then the pre-hospitalization where they will tell me exactly how is everything. You need to... Should be 102, should be below 130. Good. Good. Thank you. Good job. Good job, sir. I'm preparing some lunch. I'm making some tofu with vegetables, curry. Very, very healthy. My, my mommy left. And yesterday she made some pasta pasticciata for Luca. It's this pasta, we have some leftovers. It's pasta with ham and cheese, lasagna, you have seen that. And this is pasta pasticciata. Pasticciata is like chaotic pasta because you can put basically whatever you like in the pasta and you'll just put it in the oven for 15 minutes and then you enjoy it. So for Luca we have this, some, some tofu for me. Buon appetito, mio amor. Buon appetito, pasta pasticciata. It's funny because after I eat it's always okay. The only value that is a little bit higher is in the morning. Okay. Okay, another one this evening and then we are done. Last one. Let's do this. One, one, one. And even this one is okay. Let's see you. The day in... after tomorrow. Yeah. The day after tomorrow. <laughs> in two days. Babies lying bottom first or feet first in the uterus instead of the usual head down position are called bridge babies. Bridge position is pretty common in early pregnancy and then the baby will eventually turn in the right position. Our baby is still in the bridge position so there are different techniques and methods that you can try to turn your baby. I will show you what we are doing to try to to flip the baby in the right position. So first of all I'm trying to stay active every day 
even if I have still a low lying placenta so I cannot exercise too much, work out too much, it's important to walk. So every day, 30-40 minutes walk in the nature. We have a lot of possibility here at Lucky Land. It's very good. A little bit of a walk every day. So good in nature. Slowly, slowly, we'll get everywhere. <sighs> Need to breathe. But it's nice. It's an effort, I have to say. Sometimes I have pain all over my body. But you need to say this is good for me, for the baby. And we're doing this every day. And it's amazing. It's strange actually. It's weird because we it's full of prime roses. This primula here. Usually we have this in April or end of March. Beautiful. It's so strange. To think uh, about uh, becoming father, becoming parent, and uh, I don't know. I I keep thinking about baby girl, and uh, I know I'm already in love. <laughs> that I already love her so much. Sometimes uh, just seeing uh, the things uh, that we are getting for her and uh, are ready for her, it makes it real. And uh, I almost cry thinking about uh, from now on. Uh, I mean, uh, she's our future, she's our everything. I'm so excited, it's so amazing. Baby yeah. girl! <laughs> <laughs> She's in here. <laughs> Enjoying the sun. But actually, I feel exactly the same. Even when I watch some videos, you know, on Instagram, on YouTube, about babies, they're laughing, they're crying. I get emotional because, you know, I can't wait to see her, to, to grow up with her. She will grow up so fast. Yeah, I know, but we will enjoy every moment. I think we are so lucky that we have this kind of job where we can spend a lot of time together. We don't have to go to the office, to one office every day. Yeah. Our office is where we are. We need just a computer, internet connection, our gear, and our the self. three of us, yes. Yeah. Second of all, we are uh, doing the moxa. Moxa or moxibashan is a traditional Chinese method, is a treatment which consists of burning dry leaves. So this is the cigars, the sticks, of a plant called Artemisia vulgaris, also known as uh, mugwort. I use the heat of this cigar to stimulate some specific trigger points in your body. We bought these smokeless sticks, smokeless cigars. They still do some smoke, so we are trying to do this outside, outdoor, even if it's freezing outside, but with sunny days it's okay. The trigger point for bridge babies is your little toe, so the tip of your little toe in your feet, both sides, right and left. It's, it's called, I think, bladder point and it's strictly connected to your uterus, so it's helping the baby to move. And of course, there are professionals that are doing this. You can do it this at home safely if someone is teaching you how to do this because it's not enough one time. You have to do this every day for at least seven days 15 minutes on the right uh, side and 15 minutes on the left side. I usually light the cigar here in the kitchen. So it takes a little bit of time. I just turn it around like this and when I see that the corners are a little bit gray and red, it's okay. It means that it's burning. You can see there a little bit red. Mm -hmm. Here is where we do the treatment. Basically the trigger point is right here. So you need to go near 
that point uh, she needs to feel the heat but without burning and third I'm practicing some spinning babies exercise following the spinning baby techniques so there are eight nine different exercises that I'm doing every day to make space and room in my in my body in my pelvic uh, area in my uterus so that can, the baby can turn like more easily the doctors already said me that our baby is our baby girl in, is in bridge position since the beginning and she doesn't have much room to turn and to flip but you know trying is is always a good option to try to avoid the c-section the scheduled c-section everything can still change naturally but we are trying to help the the baby with these techniques Quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove. the workout for today we hope you enjoyed today's episode if so sure to us smashing the thumbs up button hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video and please consider subscribing to this youtube channel if you haven't done already the title words for today's video are borsa per l'ospedale hospital bag compleanno birthday posizione podalica bridge position borsa per l'ospedale hospital bag compleanno birthday Posizione podalica. Bridge position. We love you, beautiful people. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us. And uh, we will see you next Sunday. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao.